one, two, episode three. Welcome back to Watching Me. I don't want to sound dramatic, but the most amazing thing happened on Friday night. Carmi and I were rolling around on the floor. Brandon was streaming the draft downstairs when suddenly, after asking her to repeat a certain phrase that I've been waiting on forever, it happened. Say, I love you, mama. I love you, mama. Oh my god. <laughs> Did you say I love you, Mama? Sucked. <sighs> it's tough to assign words to the emotions that hit you when you hear that for the first time. I love you, Mama. When Carmi turned 16 months-ish was when first words started to really roll. I keep a list, duh. But only in the last week or so has she just started putting phrases together. It's truly wild how fast these tiny humans develop, absorb, repeat, and yet how there are still countless things it feels like you're waiting on. First rollover, first bottle hold, first sleep through the night, first crawl, first food, first steps, first time you can leave them playing in the other room and not worry that they're going to kill themselves. We're a ways away from that one. I think in any scenario, significant change is going to take a long time. We spent two years building those structures and burying them layer by layer. There are distractions, achievements, decisions, setbacks, goals. We didn't do what we knew was right and didn't make our own choices. We went down with the entire community. Sometimes more waiting. And we waited it out and the next morning uh, came out and life went on as usual. That's when we all decided that we'd better get our acts together and starting a different life. Right as I was in the middle of editing this, I happened to catch a clip of Marina Shriver's recent commencement speech at the University of Michigan. So whenever you find yourself in one of those dark moments when you can't see forward, I hope you will remember that every life has multiple chapters and that another one always awaits you on the other side. And remember, you are strong enough to get there. And so I think we'll just kind of leave this episode there because that sentiment really sums up why I started this video diary. To capture, celebrate, and maybe even revisit some of those chapters. Other noteworthy things that happened this week, Carmi moved into a new classroom at school, I got to open a new toothpaste, and earlier today I witnessed this emotional breakdown that ensued when I gave her the pink cup and not the orange one. I still can't believe Carmi said I love you, Mama. Thanks again for hopping on the Jess Brain train. Choo-choo! I was so stupid. Oh my god.